This is how we do it. Do the boom, boom, boom. It's Friday, yeah. Let's make some trades right before the a weekend. Hopefully, we get paid. That's not how that song goes. Like your little free flow rap, your improv. Here it is. It's Friday. Friday, expiration Friday, May 26th. 20 and the 23 12 40 p.m on the swatch watch central standard time farm fields of valparaiso coming to you live we'll do it live here from the fortress of solitude studios i've been gone for a couple of days where you been thought you retired <laughs> had a couple meetings had a few meetings this week I had a beautiful dinner last night with our friends Kevin and Holly over at Pesto's in Valparaiso and the Indiana. If you're ever in Valparaiso and you go to Pesto's, get the vodka chicken. If you're ever out this way and you're a little hungry, go over to Stacks and get some of the steak tacos. Hello. If you want a couple of beautiful gorgonzola chips, head on over to my friends over there at the dish. The dish restaurant. Enough about food, and you're like making your own mouth water. <laughs> okay, what do we have? Let's check the board here. Let's do it live. Devin Energy. We've got 11 call contracts covered, and the calls, those are currently at about 92% into the profit. So we'll let those ride out into the sunset. Devin down a little bit today, just over 47 bucks, I believe, maybe 47.50. EOG resources sitting pretty. Just about 100% profit, so we'll be taking a look at that. The Gilead Sciences, we're going to need to roll, roll, roll our boat on this. We have five $79 strike contracts on the puts, on the cash secured puts. So let's see what that roll out the barrel looks like. Let's take a look at it now. Roll this position. We'll go out one week, and we'll probably stick at the 79 we stick at the 79, we should be able to collect right around $75 bills. Let's see what we can actually do. We got a huge, huge gap between the bid and the ask. Three cents and 33 cents. Hello. So let's see if we can't get our 75 bucks. We want a credit. What do you mean? Do you want a credit or a debit? We want a credit. <laughs> Where's that voice coming from? Sounds real whiny. Did that fill already? Did it? I think it did. So there's $75, and that went right into the old woo-woo, right into the old wallet, into my Captain Kangaroo Velcro wallet. Uh, our Intels are going to expire at full profit again. Intel making a comeback today, though, I believe. They were downtown to Chinatown yesterday. They're up nearly 4% today at 2848. Uh-oh, getting nervous. We're sitting at the 29, so we may roll that thing. May roll it for some more cash and prizes on the in and the tell. Let's just see what kind of action we get rolling another week at the 29. Hello, Internet. Are you there? <laughs> Apparently not. Apparently not. So let's go back, try that again. Roll this position, Intel. Stuck again, stuck in neutral. They just don't want me to roll that Intel. Johnson and Johnson 155 puts. We're gonna need to roll that as well, aren't we? It's at 154.45, and we're sitting at the 155. I don't think I'm pretty sure they don't. I think they just paid me a dividend, didn't they? It's because you got too many positions, different companies. You should have all these memorized. You're probably right. You are probably right. Yeah, they just went ex-dividend, so they're going to be paying me on my existing shares on June 6th. Can you believe it's almost June? I mean, my son, school's out for summer. So he's done. What's today? Is it Friday? Yeah, so Wednesday was his last day, and it was a half day. But he is working right now. He has a little landscaping job we've hooked him up with. So he is working all day today. <laughs> Why are you laughing? You're cruel. That's cruel and unusual punishment. Now he's going to be getting paid just like the girls are out in Wyoming. 
And it turns out it wasn't the Baltimore Ravens players that came to the ranch, as I was telling you in a previous video. It was the owners of the Baltimore Ravens and all of the muckety-muck front office staff was at the ranch. So they've already come and gone. But there is a new group showing up. It's like 130 people in a wedding party. And it's apparently now up to $3 million is what they are <laughs> it's what they're paid to rent out the ranch for an entire week the whole ranch to themselves three million you know just that's a, that's a lot of money though isn't it it is that's a that's a lot of money sometimes i wish i was that rich but then you know there's a lot of trade-offs that go with becoming that rich 154 47 and we don't have any dividends in sight other than the ones we're already going to collect so we'll roll that johnson and johnson whoa what just happened there Roll the 155. Let's try to roll that for a week and just see what happens. Let's roll it on down to China Town. Yeah. Hey, that's going to be a pretty, pretty nice little, be a pretty nice little roll. Collect $273 and pass go. I like it. I like it like that. Let's see what we actually get. So low likelihood, how about 89? 89 times three is 267 dollars. And we can collect it. We can. Hey, hey, I like it. I do like that. It's Friday. It's sunny. Sunny outside. We went through for a three-mile walk this morning after a light leg day. It needed to be light because <laughs> The old man hurt his back on, was that Tuesday? It may have been Monday, Monday or Tuesday. We hit the weights. You know, I had my grandma weights that I was lifting at the YMCA. And then afterwards, I decided I'm going to do a little rowing. You know, the row machine for cardio. I'm just rowing along, listening to Wall Street breakfast on my AirPods. And then it was like a little hitch in my giddy up in the, my lower back. I should have stopped. Like a smart person would have stopped. I just keep on going. And then it was like, whoa, it felt like a little pop action back there. That was hobbled, pretty hobbled for a couple of days, but I'm coming out of it now. So much so that I was able to do a light leg workout today, followed by a three mile walk. We saw a deer that was about 10 feet from us, just staring us down, like right into my soul. And we're not going to hurt you, Bambi. 72 degrees and sunny right now. We've got Carlos. Carlos will be showing up any minute to clean the house. What? You can't clean your own house? You just sit up in your office? <laughs> oh, man. It's true. Girl, you know it's true. We do like to trade money for time because after years and years of trading time for money, now we are in a little bit of a position to do that. So I'm doing yard work as we speak right now, and I'll be cleaning the house soon, and I'll be actually doing none of it but helping the economy by paying others to do that. That's real hoity-toity there, Bart. And you're still just blabbing and talking out loud. What's your next trade? Let's find out. So we've got this Coca-Cola. I think we're just going to let the Coca-Cola expire because it's down again today. It's already down all the way to $60.20. So it's been slowly slinky in its way down the stairs. It walks in pairs. It does with Pepsi. Sometimes it makes a clinkety sound. So this week, it is down over 4%. Woo! Sugar water all the way down here. So we do have some positions on Pepsi as well. So we'll let Coke expire, and then we'll make a comeback when it is in the green. Our love, Rub-A-Dub in the hot tub, our Southwest Airlines is sitting pretty. So we'll, I think they're down again today though, right? Something went wrong. What is happening? Is it the internet or is it you, Robin? They are up today. So let's roll that. Let's see if we can roll that love a dove. What are there? Okay, two contracts. Let's roll that. We'll keep the $31. $31 bills. I know it's not a lot of money, but it's more than I had going into this trade. Love currently at $29.60. I'll take my $16. Bucks. Am I going to get $16? Nope. Doesn't look like it. How about 14 
I get 14 Bella Bills. Okay, we got that. And that seems silly, right? Like, that's so silly, $14. But what if you got 14 bucks every week for, let's say, 50 weeks, right? That's $700. So write that down on a little notepad, $700, right? Okay, we're talking about Rub-A-Dub in a hot tub, Southwest Airlines, love. Let's go to love and see what it pays us, okay? So, so if you were able to do that, so that's on, that was two contracts, right? 200 shares. Their dividend is 36 cents. So that would be $36 times two, that's 72. So you would collect, if you just owned it, you'd collect $72 a year on your dividends for holding Southwest Airlines. And we're looking to add $700 to that every year. So let's see. 700 plus the $72. Now that's 772. And let's see, 3100 times two, $6,200 investment. 6200 is the investment on the table. $772 divided by 6200 And that would be a 12.4% yield on your investment as opposed to the 1.23% dividend yield that Southwest Airlines pays. So that's just kind of the mindset or the thinking regarding that little baby roll. Because, you know, you got to collect $14 so you can buy some more Tootsie Rolls. Them Tootsie Rolls. <laughs> Tootsie Roll. All right, we got a McDonald's. This was a training wheel, and we pulled the training wheels off, and it looks like that's going to work out just fine for us because McDonald's, it's currently at 286.32. We originally put this trade on. Where are you? Is that it? The credit spread. Yeah, so we had this spread we put on. It was a 285 slash 282.50. And then we sold off. We sold to close those long legs, the daddy long legs. What did we collect on that? Let's find out right here. And right now, when we sold those clothes, we collected right there. We collected 78 bucks to do so. So we collected our money on the original credit spread. We added $78 to it. And it looks like it's going to expire at full profit today above that 285 strike. Now, we're not so lucky on our 185 Pepsi. So we have a 182.5 Pepsi. That was a training wheel as well. Sold off the long legs there. Put that money in our our um, kitty carry all Velcro wallet. Did the same with this 185 put. It was a put credit spread. Sold off the long leg for a few dollar bills that we put into our briefcase. And now we're sitting on the 185. Okay. Now here's my dilemma. And I know what Brian's thinking. It's not a dilemma. You just roll it. It's not even a question. So my dilemma is this, because I'm just so so in love with dividends. It's just dividends plus covered calls equals joy and happiness. For me, so if we look at PepsiCo, right, I would be paying $185 for a $183.42 product, but I'd lock in my dividend. Okay, so next week on, is that Thursday? I believe that's Thursday, X dividend date, right? And I'm going to get 127 bucks per contract or per block that I own. And how many is that, by the way? By the by, the 185 is two contracts. Okay, so I got two, two times this money. It'd be $254 I'm going to collect in dividends that they'll gladly pay me on June 30th. And I'll be able to sell calls call, call, calls away. If I were to just roll it, roll this position. Here's Stacy talking outside. Let me look. Hold on one second. Yeah, just as I thought. It's the roofing contractor. I'll tell you more about that later, but I got to sign some contracts apparently. 
So let me finish this up or finish this thought here. I still need to decide what I'm going to do. Do I just roll this out a week and keep it at the 185? But then if I, she's texting me, come down, please. Okay, so I will do that. So if we went with the roll, we could collect $304, but we would still then be in jeopardy of having this these shares put to us at 185 on Friday, and we will have missed the ex-dividend date. So I'll contemplate that. I got to go down to the kitchen, sign some roofing contracts, and I'll be right back with you. Thanks for tuning in. Subscribe, like, share, and you know what? I'll see you in the next video.